hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel excel vba expert in today's video we are going to solve top you know not top but this advanced mis interview mis interview questions right so here uh, let's start to solve the question but i can uh, i can tell you guys that these are the question you know which really will help you out okay on an advanced level for interview right so let's start to solve the question so in the first question if you will look at guys so here uh, the question is if you look at in the a column so here we have a combined names right the combined in the combined names that we have a first name and a first name and the last name combined there is no delimiter given right and it is very that is the question that we need to figure out figure out the you know uh, the delimiter and then we can extract out the last name the required output is given in the b column the required output like verma singh jain b sarma kurana chauhan these are the name which is you know indicating us to extracting the data extracting the name from the last column right so last name from the last name i mean the last name we need to get from the a column how we can do that okay first you will have to write the code here you will have to write the function of code in the code you know just write mid in the mid just select this one and write here row number row number from a from 1 to 255 okay 255 comma 1 okay and greater than equal to 65 why 65 and what is code function if the word see that there, there is no one only ident identifier that we can we can we can figure out the rajan and verma if you will look at okay after the rajan verma is starting from the v v is in the capital the identifier that we have only the capital letter of the last call last name right if you will look at if i want to get the code from if of i want to get the code of a so it will be code it is 65 and i want to get the code of z so it is between 65 to 90 only the cap i'm talking about the capital letters okay so if any letter is is between you know, a to z and the code also will be between 65 to 90 that is why that we have given here 65 okay so close the bracket and sorry just copy it first copy it and again multiply it and paste it okay it will be now less than equal to 90 as i told you earlier okay but the one uh, changes here you will have to write it too and we need to freeze it first and same here now press ctrl shift enter as soon as you will press ctrl shift enter we will get you know such output and now what you need to do right here match function in the match one go in the last do not give any do not give any kind of number 0 1 minus or nothing right close the bracket again go in the beginning right here mid function in the mid select the cell okay it is little tough but you guys will understand plus 1 255 okay we've 255 we need to write in the last and press ctrl shift enter you will get your output you see okay this is how that you guys can solve this question it is really very important question and advanced level question that you guys can solve it on the advanced level of interview okay so now let's go through the question number two in the question number two if the it is a similar question looks like but actually it is not okay the structure of the data is same uh the question if you look at in the a column so in the a column that you have a name and employee id together and there is no delimiter given as in the last question that you know there was no delimiter but we figured out and we solved that question right but in the in this question in this question that we need to uh in this uh, question that we need to get the name right and we need to exclude the employee id right so what we can do is right here find function first in the find what what you know things that we need to find first in the curly bracket right here 0 1 0 1 comma 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay close the curly bracket select the cell okay ampersand it by 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay the number that you need to add okay control shift enter you need to press you need to press now again press f2 go in the beginning right here minimum in the minimum press and minus one now what guys you can see this is the length this is the length these are the number which are not a normal number these are the length of the name that we have got if you will look at the first name it is a raj so against the raj the uh, raj name length is three so it is three money's length is three uh, money's length is six so it is it is a six that we have got in the d column right so here press f2 go in the beginning again right here left and get the value from the left okay and numbers numbers only the things that we need to make uh, we need to you know make that you know dynamic and that's actually we have done okay this is how that you can solve this question as well
now let's go to the question number three and it is also a little advanced question now let's read out the question first so enter a formula in the colored cell to get the corresponding value from the column based on the position of a city for example if delhi is at first place under city then the value should be coming from column one and if delhi is at third place under city then value should be coming from column three okay and it means what the question that i have understood is if the delhi position delhi is coming in the second number so i want to get the value here from second column which is this one right if delhi is in the third position so i want to i want to populate the value here from this column okay from the third column i hope guys you have understood so here but first let's you know uh, get the position of the locations okay comma 10 and i am solving it in the multiple columns only for your understanding okay it is the column number that we have got and we know if when we are when we are using the vlookup so in the vlookup what happens if we are selecting the data from here okay we are selecting the data from cities so it will be your first and it will be your second column so do not get confused that is it you know delhi is coming on second but the value is here three why because you will also will have to count from the delhi so it is one two three right so this is how that we need to count okay now come here and write here equal to vlookup from this cell simple simple vlookup okay comma zero enter drag it it is a good one is coming on the third position and we are getting is my destination is my destination is here okay now how we can solve it in the single column let's do it okay equal to vlookup select this one select equal to vlookup select the data like this match i want to get the position of this from this list comma zero and press comma zero enter the question seems little tough but actually it is not okay all right now let's go to the question number four in the question number four here we have a two dates okay the first date is 6 september and second date uh, second date is 7 september so i want to calculate the number of hours okay so what you can do simply do minus do the sub subtraction simple okay and alt alt ae make it in the number and multiply it by 24 the 24 is the number of hours okay and after that just you need 10% and it will be more understandable okay alt ae delimited you see 24 hours for example i am just changing the date it is it is now it is now it is now 1 okay so you will be say 144 hours from 1st september to 7 september right so i hope guys you have understood the question and i will attach this file in the descri description box from there you guys can download it for your practice so thank you so much everyone for watching the video thanks a lot